Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday? So, kind of a pretty cool video. I was gonna try to make for you guys today. We got a professional tree climber at the property, and he reached out to me, and we set up a set up a deal where he could shoot some content at the property and uh, help us out as well as Nala walks right in front of the camera. But anyways, oh, our entire household is sick. And nothing too crazy. I just think going from Mississippi where, you know, it was shoot 80 plus degrees to coming back here, which it was really nice one day as well. And then it went to like 25 degrees, 30 degrees. But anyways, so Savannah, I, and Sean Boy currently all have nasal burning, head congestion, and a little bit of irritation in the throat. We will be, all right, so I went ahead and cut that out because the radio wouldn't shut off. But anyways, yeah, we'll all be okay. Uh, if any of you comment, uh, thank you for your thoughts and prayers. Uh, just kind of stinks being under the weather. We don't get very, we don't get sick very often in the Spencer household, to be honest with you, especially me. Like I very rarely, I mean, it's been a long time, but anyways, so I'm going to run to the property because it's closer to the end of the day. Now I'm going to try to get you some footage. I'll be honest with you. I've been in the house all day long. I've still been productive, been working on other things, a lot of writing, a lot of typing, uh, some videoing, but not much video because I feel like junk. <laughs> oh, that's all I can do is laugh. My goodness. So I knew Zach was a professional uh, tree climber and really good with the saw. But this dude put in some work today. I mean, he put in work. Let's get out here and check it out. So if you guys remember, I'll plug a picture up here, just how big this pile was. <laughs> hey man hey there you cut a little bit of wood up huh just a wee bit <laughs> <laughs> my goodness i was like totally shocked when i pulled up oh good good i was i was hoping you'd have that experience i'd shake your hand but man i'm sick as a dog Ooh, right now okay yeah I, I wanted to come over this morning get some shots and stuff i just i've been under the weather all day long okay well i'm sorry to hear that but thank you for that courtesy <laughs> yeah i don't want to i don't want to give you whatever i got i think it's just coming from down in Mississippi, really hot to cold oh, weather again. Yeah, yeah. I think you got to me, even though you're in a t-shirt right now. Well, but it's it's been, actually chilly out here, guys. I've, I've been up here in the cold weather, and I get used to it. And when it warms up, it's not that not that cold anymore. So right, I like this truck. You like this? Yeah, dude, that is cool. I got lucky with this truck. My father-in-law helped me buy it when I was getting started, and it's done me good. It's it's got the same drivetrain as old school bus. I'll show you guys in just one second, but let's introduce you real quick. This is Zach. What is your YouTube channel called, Zach? Just Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Yeah. I'll put a link down in the, the description or somewhere around here. You guys check it out. He's local to me as well here in Stark County. What do you do exactly? I know you have excavating. You're a tree climber. Yeah. So my YouTube channel is focused around tree climbing. I had a small tree service for a while, and I I just love tree climbing. I learned so much about it on YouTube. I kind of wanted to, I don't know, give back in a way as I learned more things. So I started making videos, and... People started watching them, and so that's where we're at now. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. If you guys like tree climbing and cutting trees and trucks and uh, excavating, go over there, give him a follow. He's a local guy here, and reached out, and he's like, hey, man, I know you got some wood. He's like, you uh, you mind if I come help you out a little bit? And I'll tell you what, you helped me out a ton. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I, I like cutting wood as well, but like I knew that pile was uh, – going to take me a while, but I think you helped me out a ton here. Oh, good, good. Let's check out this truck real quick, and uh, then I'll show you how, my gosh, dude, you you put in some work. I tried to. I'll tell you, my back feels like it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing you're young. You're young. Yeah, sure, sure. Hopefully. Anyways, what's your what, what's your truck here, Zach? Okay, so this is a 1998 F800. It's got a 5.9 12-valve Cummins, which is awesome. Who doesn't love that engine? And then it's got a dumping flatbed on it. It's, uh, I think it's a 12 foot flatbed which is a little bit longer than your traditional single axle dump truck uh, most of those are like a 10 foot bed 
And so I don't even use a trailer. I put my machine right up in the back with some big ramps and it saves me some effort. This is the biggest truck I can drive without a CDL. That was going to be my next question. Does yeah. it require a CDL? Nope, nope. It's the biggest thing I can drive. Dude, it's so. it's clean. Yeah, the guy that owned it before me took really nice care of it and kind of dressed it up a little bit. And uh, it was a Davy tree truck before that. Okay, yeah, they're kind of big. Yeah, yeah, they, they got some big stuff for sure. Dude, that is that is nice. I like this truck a lot. Yeah, well, you'll you'll hear me coming if you ever <laughs> if you ever in the neighborhood. She ain't got no muffler on her. So. <laughs> a little loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's check this bed out here, guys. So you just you just drive your excavator right up in there, huh? Yep, yep. It's a little scary, but uh, because this is a twenty six thousand pound truck, I would need a CDL to tow a trailer. Okay. So, or at least to tow a trailer over ten thousand pounds. Okay. So my machine alone is eleven and a half thousand pounds. So. It was either this or go buy like a really nice F-250 and a trailer and I already owned this and this was cheaper than going and buying a new pickup truck. So if you guys can't tell these ramps, were these custom or did you, you buy these? Uh, I got bought these online, I think from like discountramps.com or something like that. Okay, I see heavy duty ramps there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Check yeah. this out though guys, they just kind of hook here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's still pretty sketchy coming oh, off yeah. there, but... Yeah. They're, I think, 102 pounds a piece, so they're about all I want to do to really pick them up and put them in the, you know, in the in the truck under the machine. 102 pounds a piece. Yeah, yeah. And those are just aluminum. Yep, just aluminum. Whew. Man, oh man, you got to hide these around Canton a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these will come up missing. That's cool. Heck yeah. This is a solid truck, man. Like. You ever go to sell it, give me a call. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to let you know. It treated <laughs> me really well. I mean, as you can see, I use it to haul stone and haul the machine, and I can get into anywhere. I never have to worry about backing a trailer in off the road or anything like that. So. No, that's... I don't know if I've ever... I mean, I've seen guys use dump trucks and stuff, but, uh, yeah, it's... I don't know if I've ever seen anybody use ramps like that to do it. Well, I've, I've only seen it in videos from, like, other countries where there's no OSHA. Okay. <laughs> well, you're here on private yeah. property, so well, we don't got to yeah. worry about them. I don't. I actually don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I just don't think it's generally as accepted by the workforce here in the U.S. It's kind of, at least when it comes to heavy equipment, people are set in their ways. You know, no, but innovation doesn't have a lot of room there. Right. And right. So it's just not something I think has been accepted here very well. I gotta ask, what's this helmet you're rocking here? Oh, this, this is this. Is, I had one of these save my life one time. This is a Fanner Protos. And it's a specifically made in Austria for a lot of the European standards, but it's really popular here in the U.S. Um, among other tree guys. It's got a really nice swept back thing. There's not much to, for branches to catch on. And then also it's got some nice uh, vents in the top that slide back and forth to open and close. It's got built-in earmuffs that stow away. Mine's got built-in eyeglasses as well. Uh, this one I particularly have an uh, intercom set up on, so if I'm way up in a tree, I can talk to my guys while they're down there on the ground running ropes with like there's a chipper running or something. They were not yelling back and forth. Um, but it's it's quite a piece, but it's, it has a price to go with it, as you can imagine. Oh, any good product, though, is going to be pricey, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well worth it. Anyways, let's go check out all this work real quick and, uh, Man, I don't, you didn't leave me a whole lot left here to do. Oh, I think there's plenty to do yet. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But no, he he put in work compared to what this pile was. If you guys remember, my goodness. So what's your machine here? And I'll kind of show him the wood in the background as well. Sure. This is just a Cat 305. It's a five metric ton excavator. Excavators are all measured in metric ton. So that five at the end of the model number signifies five tons. So it weighs eleven and a half thousand pounds, and uh, it's got a thumb on it and little bucket and there's a blade on there and the ac works That's nice <laughs> heck yeah so check this out my goodness man thank you uh, thank you seriously yeah no problem that helps me out a ton a lot of those big ones if you guys remember that were real high they were pretty dangerous because they were really long they were kind of like a last minute project we ripped out of here at the property so all the ones that i had previously cut were underneath and stacked really nicely and then we put those big old gigantic things and yeah, it's just a bit of a mess, but man, Zach went uh, Zach went a little crazy here today. I appreciate it though. I'm 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 ecstatic. I mean, super happy. Got them nice and stacked neatly here. My goodness. So if you guys don't know, Zach's gonna be dropping a video as well. What did you? I, I won't ruin the whole video for him, but uh, what did you do here today? What was the main concept of your video? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There's like 
a couple different kinds of chains um, for chainsaws and there's a new one that just got released into the US and so I wanted to make a video comparing all of them and obviously to compare chains and chainsaws I need lots of wood to cut so I knew we had some here and so I thought oh we can see do something that helps both of us out and and it sounds like it's gonna play out that way well so yeah works really really well for me i'm gonna be splitting like crazy i think i'm gonna have to get a different log splitter for a few days though maybe uh rent something <laughs> anyways my goodness that's a guys i hope the video does it justice but i mean that's a massive pile of wood i mean thank you seriously yeah, thank no you I, I actually had a lot of fun doing it i've kind of been you know work's been slow this time of the year and so i was just happy to get out and and just do some sweat work yeah i know you guys won't be able to tell but there's an aroma in the air. Even though my sinuses are burning, I can still smell it. And this wood just smells absolutely amazing. So, yeah, man. Whew. I can't believe you got that much cut up. I'm honestly, I'm shocked. <laughs> it's all about being able to pick it up off the ground. You know, I was just able to pick it up with, uh, with the thumb on the excavator and, you know, just cut right down. It went really, really fast. So, it was, that, that's key. If you're ever, you know, if you're stuck bending over and doing it on the ground all day, for one, it's horrible on your body, but it also just takes forever. Right. So I think that was key. That smell you're smelling is actually sassafras. There was one sassafras log in here, and sassafras has a very, excuse me, sassafras has a very strong aroma, and they actually used to make tea out of the roots. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and I mean, if you could find the stump from wherever that tree came from, I'm sure you could. Huh. But uh, and if you ever bite off the leaves, the stems of the leaves taste like root beer. Really? So it's it's something that goes way back to, I it think- It is the strong. Yeah, it is. It is. I think the Native Americans did a bunch of stuff with it. Wow. And it's it's very unique. It's a special wood. That's pretty cool. I had no clue. No clue at all. But I'm just trying to show you guys, like, yeah. I mean, you can pretty much see the, the cleaner cuts, how much work he's done here. On top of all this he cut up. I mean, the proper machinery... Uh, Definitely helps, right? Oh, yeah. You got the 500i as well, I saw? Yeah, yeah. Yep, did all with 500i. Nice, man. What I should have did is brought you my 500i. You probably wouldn't have had to swap your chains back and forth. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I've got some modifications on mine, so it wouldn't have been a fair fight then. Well, maybe I'll have to talk to you about what those modifications are. Mine's pretty yeah. much brand new. Okay. I did buy the uh, lighter bar, though, for it, though. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't put it on yet. Yeah, definitely the thing to do. Cool, man. Anyways, guys, check Zach out. If you guys are in the Stark County, Ohio area, Zenith Excavating, you can look him up. Where are you at online? Anywhere? Facebook? Uh, anything? I've got, I've got a website, just zenithexcavating.com. Um, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, I think that sums it up pretty much for online. Nice, man. And you, you service all of Stark County? Yeah, Stark County, Summit County, Portage County. Pretty much go within anywhere within 45 minutes or so. Very cool. All right, so probably a weird cut there, but I wanted to get this bad boy getting loaded up. Oh, he could have yelled at me. I'd have grabbed him for you. I didn't even see him. It's all good.
And there it is. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, uh, because this hangs out so far, I gotta put a little orange flag on it. Yeah, safety, you know. Well, uh, yeah, and the law. I don't, I don't want to get pulled over. <laughs> oh man. So what do you do? Just tuck these ramps up and beside it? Yeah. So actually, I, I. We'll stick them under the blade. I'll lift the blade back up and do it. But I want to get this flag on before I forget. I've oh, okay. definitely gone down the road without it too many times. <laughs> so. If you guys are wondering, he's got some slithers up in here. That's for your uh, your video, correct? Yeah. Yep. Those are part of the, the. Those are just the byproduct of what I did today, more or less. Very cool. Okay, so he slides them up in the middle. That's actually pretty darn convenient. Yeah, it's a, it's it worked out a lot better than I thought it would when I was dreaming it all up. Right. That is cool. All right, guys. So this is going to be the end of the video. Got some work done here at the property. Haven't been here in about two, three weeks. Just uh, super busy and now sick. But yeah, great big thank you to Zach here. We're out of here. As always, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQL, peace. Bye-bye.